What's up guys? I am here at the M Cafe and I got the um, vegan breakfast burrito and the matcha latte which is my favorite. So I want to show you guys. This is my matcha latte and my burrito that has tofu, egg, beans, brown rice, tortilla, and all the goodies inside. I do want to say that my Sunday brunch that I have to tell you is the matcha latte.
what you heard. Somebody come get her. Team Two Baby, what is a Sunday fun day without some vegan ice cream? So I am going in right now to Press ju Juicery, which I've showed you guys before. It is my favorite, favorite vegan ice cream, and I will show you what I get when I come out. All right, so I get the vanilla and chocolate swirl with almond butter, chocolate chips, and almonds in the inside. So fire. All right guys, so for dinner, I'm going to be making a Mexican style dish with jackfruit, and jackfruit is like, um, I've made it before, but I don't think I've done a recipe for you guys. It's it's like meat, so you, you can use it in replace for um, like sloppy joe sandwiches, tacos, sopes, like different things like that. Um, and so I'm gonna do like, a, like little mini sopes. And I'm making my own. I was going to do tortillas, but I decided to do um, the sope instead, which is originally like a corn, like a thick matzah bread on the bottom of um, whatever you choose to put on it. So I did one just to try it out to see if it worked, and it did. So I'm going to show you guys what I did. It's literally three ingredients, and it's so good and so easy. So um, I cooked this one on the pan. You can also do it in the oven. So what I did here was I blended up quinoa flour in my little bullet like I've done before. And I put one cup in here and then I blend it till it's like a really thin powder. And then all you do is add in about like two tablespoons of coconut oil, but don't melt it. And then a little bit of water and some sea salt. And then you stir it together and form like little balls, which I will show you right now. And then heat up your skillet till it's really hot, like a nonstick pan. And you just, it was like, I think I did like one minute and a half on each side. So I'm gonna make these and then the jackfruit and all of like bell peppers and lettuce and my mushrooms, I'm gonna use these little carnitas um, because if you cook them, like overcook them, then they, <laughs> if you overcook them, they taste like little carnitas. So. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the process, but um, I did one of the, the little sope tortillas, so I'm going to show you now the rest, so you can make this meal because it is so good and I want you to try it, okay? Alright, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start with one tablespoon of coconut oil, and I'm going to put a little, little bit of sea salt. And a little bit of water to start. So you just want to eye it because it's going to start looking like this. And then you got to use your hands. And you eye the milk as you go. All right, so we have like a nice dough. And then you'll break it up into little pieces and, and roll it into a flat piece so you can put it on your pan. So let's do, let's do a couple of mini ones.
All right, so these, this is like, this is like my chicken, the jackfruit. It really does look and taste like it. And it'll start to slowly break up like shredded chicken once you put it on the pan. And then here are my mushrooms, which are like my carnitas. So I'm gonna let these cook down. All right, I'm making my own salsa. So here I boiled some green pepper. I'm gonna just blend it up and then I'm gonna season my salsa. This is a salsa verde. Hey, <laughs> like that little verde? Garlic. And some, what else? Some, where's my paprika? Two garlic cloves. And now we'll blend it. Our salsa verde. We'll pour it in a bowl. And we're going to add some aminos. A little bit more lime. A little bit of onion. Some more paprika. Black pepper. And a little bit of sea salt. Alright, we're going to make two different kinds of sopes. So, one we're going to do our jackfruit chicken here. And then we're going to do another one with our carnitas, which is our mushrooms. So, first what I'm going to do is a little bit different. I'm going to spread a little bit of avocado on the bottom to be like a creamy sauce. Okay, and then this is our chicken. Wow, it looks exactly like shredded chicken. And then here's our little carnitas. Okay, and now we're going to top them. So I'm going to put a little bit of red A little bit of yellow. Um, some white and purple onion. Oh no. Little guy is almost down there. Some shredded romaine lettuce. Always goes on top. Or on the sides. <laughs> stay on there. Stay on there. Okay. Then here's my homemade pepper salsa. And then I made a cucumber salad with some lime season and the same seasonings. Let's grease some lamb on top. And there we go, sopes. All 
Alright guys, so that's it and we're done. Now it's time for the final taste test, but a couple things I wanted to tell you about this. Um, the quinoa sopes is where sopes is where you're getting a lot of your protein as the jackfruit doesn't have as much protein. Mushrooms do have protein and then of course all your veggies and everything, but jackfruit is actually known to kill like any type of cancer cells and it helps with things in your stomach so jackfruit's a really good superfood to eat that a lot of people don't know about and it seriously looks and tastes just like chicken so let's give it a try because my camera is dying okay mm. <laughs> oh my god mm. that Wow, that gives me hype. Y'all, my camera's about to turn off, but please, you have to try this. Holy shit, that tastes just like a soap. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Please give this a try. I love you all.